हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर बवानी एच जी जूनियर रेसिडेंट इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रेडियोलॉजी फ्रॉम गोवा मेडिकल कॉलेज टुडे आई एम रिपोर्टिंग अ केस ऑन डैंडी वॉकर वेरिएंट विद एसोसिएटेड ऑक्सीपिटल मेनिंगोसिल एंड जोबर्ट से इंट्रोडक्शन डैंडी वॉकर कंटिन्यूम ऑल्सो रेफर्ड एज डैंडी वॉकर स्पेक्ट्रम और डैंडी वॉकर कॉम्प्लेक्स इट इज अ स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ अनोमलीज दट इंक्लूड डैंडी वॉकर मॉलफॉर्मेशन वर्मीनियन आइपोप्लेशिया ब्लैक पाउच सिस्ट एंड मेगा सिस्टर्ना मैग्ना इट इज द मोस्ट कॉमन कंजेनेटल सेरिबेलर मॉलफॉर्मेशन ऑफ फोस्टीरिया फोसा मोस्ट कॉमन प्रेजेंटेशन इज इंक्रीज इंट्राक्रेनियल प्रेशर सेकेंडरी टू हाइड्रोकेफेलस डैंडी वॉकर कंटिन्यूम कैन बी एसोसिएटेड विद द जोबर्ट अनोमली इन सम केसेस Jobert anomaly is an autosomal recessive disorder where there is a variable degree of cerebellar verminian agenesis is noted. History: Baby born at 38.6 weeks of gestation out of normal vaginal delivery with APGAR score of 8 out of 9. Developed cyanosis seizure and decreased activity after 24 hours of life and shifted to NICU for observation. The metabolic and hematological workup were revealed normal study. Seizure episodes were persisted till one month of life and was an anti-epileptic. Parents also noticed a small swelling in the occipital region. Cranial EEG was performed and reveals dilatation of ventricular system with VH ratio of 0.45 and trapezoid shaped gap is noted between the cerebellar hemisphere, likely suggestive of Verminian hypoplasia. MRI was performed and reveals. Hypoplasia of cerebellar vermis is noted with cystic dilatation of fourth ventricle, which is seen to communicate with enlarged cisterna magna. Imaging features are suggestive of Dandy Walker malformation. The superior cerebellar peduncle appears thick, elongated, abnormally oriented, perpendicular to the dorsum of the pons, with interpeduncular system, raising possibility of associated Joubert syndrome. Broad based meningocele is noted in suboccipital region with herniation of sac. Subependymal nodules are noted adjacent to the frontal ons of the lateral ventricle, which is seen to follow gray gray matter in signal intensity, suggestive of aterotopia. Discussion: In Dandy Walker variant, there is variable degree of inferior verminian and cerebellar hypoplasia. The retrocerebellar CSF collection communicates with normal or mildly enlarged fourth ventricle via prominent vellacula. The tentorial position and size of posterior fossa are normal. Coronal images through posterior fossa may show absence of vermis. The brain stem is usually normal and hydrocephalus is an uncommon association. Dandy Walker continuum is a spectrum of anomaly that includes Dandy Walker malformation, Verminian hypoplasia, black pouch cyst and mega cystana magna dandy walker malformation it is the most common posterior posterior fossa malformation characterized by triad of hypoplasia of vermis and cephalad rotation of verminian remnant cystic dilatation of fourth ventricle extending posteriorly enlarged posterior fossa with torocular lambda inversion verminian hypoplasia reduced verminian tissue below the vestigial declive line superior rotation of vermis in increased tegmento vermilion angle posterior fossa is of normal size black pouch cyst ependymal line protrusion of protrusion from fourth ventricle normal size and morphology of vermis elevated vermis increased tegmento vermilion angle mega cystana magnum enlarged enlarged retrocerebellar csf more than 10 mm no mass effect seen normal vermis fluid crossed by veins and fox cerebelli may scallop and remodel occiput differential diagnosis retrocerebellar arachnoid cyst cyst is located behind the vermis and fourth ventricle does not communicate with it no hydrocephalus is noted cranial meningocele cranial meningocele is characterized as herniation of only meninges whereas encephalocele includes herniation of meninges and neural tissue the term Cephalocele includes both of these malformation. The association between Dandy Walker spectrum and meningocele is rare. The developmental defect usually occurs around sixth or seventh weeks of intrauterine development. Joubert syndrome. It is a rare inherited autosomal recessive disorder. Systemic characteristic neuro neuro imaging findings for Joubert syndrome was reported by Maria Etla as molar tooth sign. 
which is referred as elongated thicken and horizontally oriented superior cerebellar peduncle a deep interpeduncular fossa and verminian hypoplasia in addition fourth ventricle is enlarged and distorted there is variable involvement of supratentorial neuroparenchyma and brain stem in about 30% of cases the brain stem may be involved in the form of dysmorphic tectum and midbrain thickening and elongation of midbrain and small pons there is absence of decussation of superior cerebellar peduncle and corticospinal tract on the diffusion tensor imaging differential diagnosis is verminian and ponto cerebellar hypoplasia treatment early surgical treatment should be offered to the patient with occipital meningocele associated with dandy walker malformation there is limited data available on long term outcome of children with jobert syndrome persistent neuromotor developmental retardation is a feature of surviving individual patient with associated retinal dysplasia appears to have a poorer prognosis extreme care need to be taken when administrating any drug, any agent that causes respiratory depression as individual with jobert syndrome are exclusively sensitive to this effect genetic counseling is required as the condition is autosomal recessive these are my references and thank you